How's the royal family? I pray that everyone is doing well. First and foremost, I'd like to thank Carissa McKnight. Thank you very, very much, my queen. So, Amber the Killer Geiger. You know she want to get up out of jail. And um, they filing all types of appeals. So I'm going to take the royal family on a journey. So let's get into this first video. Amber Geiger walked in sobbing. The first chance in front of investigators to tell her story. It's just interesting that that it exists. A video WFAA obtained through a public records request. Not even 24 hours after she shot and killed Botham Jean, a very nervous Geiger sat with two attorneys on one side, the Rangers opposite. Todd Shapiro has been a defense attorney for a long time and is not connected to this case, but he's been in these kinds of crammed rooms before. The colors are drab, the, those are interrogation rooms. A lot of times they're gonna get people in there that wanna come in and talk. Their goal is to get people in there to talk without lawyers. Shapiro says her defense attorneys like Robert Rogers are stellar, but says anytime a client sits down with an investigator, it is a risky proposition. If there was a crack in her armor, if there was an opportunity to show something from the video that contradicted something she said from the witness stand, they would have jumped on it. The jury never saw this because it was never admitted. Shapiro says if she had strayed from her story, the state would have used it. Geiger talked about her shift as an officer, showed where she stood when she shot Botham, showed how she tried to do CPR while on the phone with dispatch. Seems like the raw emotion we saw from her on the witness stand during the trial is the same emotion you saw from her during this interview as well. I still felt like that guy was going to kill me. Um, she was alive. It has no bearing on the conviction or likely even the appeal, but it is another layer in an event that captivated the country. In Dallas, I'm Joven Panniker. Very, very sad. Geiger is serving a 10-year sentence for Botham Jean's death in 2018. She has appealed that conviction. All right, all right, all right, my royal family. Let me take this down before it get, get real nasty. So let's go back over here. Y'all know I'm going to milk it for everything it's worth. Y'all know I'm going to do this. So um, the question that I asked the royal family Will Amber the Killer Geiger do those whole so-called 10 years? All right. Um, I'll give my opinion before I get deeper into this. I don't think she's going to do it at all because both in jeans, um, brother, and look at this. Look at this pain. Look at this pain these people are in. And then they go all the way to the ladder. And those antics that we seen in the courts with Both and Jean's brother. And they, you know, let's not lose sight that they gave him some type of award, a coon award, for those antics in court. And when this award that they gave them was the first part of December of last year. Then in the latter part of December, they, um, there was another judge, um, cause you know, they were filing a civil suit and, um, that's about getting money. And basically that other judge in Texas said, no, nah, y'all not going to get no money. So it's just really sad that we are so quick to forgive. I'm telling you, my royal family, this particular case drained me. And I vowed to the royal family I would not allow myself to get so emotionally invested in this case. But it was painful to see. So as we continue on, my royal family... Get a little deeper into this thing. Okay. Don't want to miss nothing. Blow this up. Take it to the end. Okay, there we go. 
We begin with new developments in the Amber Geiger murder case. The fire Dallas officer in prison for the murder of Botham Jean wants her conviction overturned for a lesser charge. NBC 5's Maria Guerrero has the link. Got a little glitch in the system. Based on where the case stands. The request is not surprising. Every defendant has a right to an appeal. Former Dallas police officer Amber Geiger is asking an appeals court to acquit her of murder and instead convict her of the lesser charge of criminally negligent homicide. The big difference is the, the range of punishment. Geiger is not asking for a new trial and with good reason, says defense attorney and former assistant DA Russell Wilson, who's not associated with this case. I think she's taken a pellet path that prevents her from uh, exposing herself to greater potential punishment. A risk if a new trial and a new jury finds her guilty of murder again. She's currently serving a 10 year sentence. The new conviction would carry two to 10 years in jail where probation is possible. Geiger's attorney Mike Mola is also asking for a new hearing to determine punishment for that charge, arguing evidence in the first trial was legally insufficient to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Geiger committed murder when shooting and killing Botham Jean in his own apartment in 2018. Though mistakenly, she believed she walked into her apartment and found an intruder. And because of that mistaken belief, she had a right to use deadly force in self-defense arguments Geiger's defense hopes the fifth court of appeals agrees with. And what are the odds, I guess, of that happening? The overwhelming majority of appeals and, and appellate courts lose. In Dallas, Maria Guerrero, NBC5. And we reached out to Geiger's attorney but have not heard back on this. Attorney Wilson says each side will have an opportunity to respond and estimates it could be next year before a three-member panel renders a decision on this. And we have an entire timeline of events in the Amber Geiger case from when she was indicted for murder to the big moments from that trial. You can find it on NBCDFW.com. Just search Geiger. All right, my royal family. Mm-mm-mm. Boy, do, do that bring back many, many memories when all that drama and hypervia was going on. So as we continue on my royal family, let's listen to this. Ex-Dallas officer Amber Geiger appeals murder conviction, seeks shorter sentence. An appeal was filed this week seeking a shorter prison sentence for a former Dallas police officer who killed an unarmed black man she mistakenly believed was an intruder inside her apartment. Amber Geiger was found guilty on October 1st of murder in the death of Botham Jean, whom she shot in his apartment. On September 6, 2018, Geiger, who is white, entered Jean's apartment, mistaking it for her own, and believed he was an intruder, she testified. She had just finished working an extended shift of about 14 hours for the Dallas Police Department and was still in uniform when she shot Jean. The department fired her and she was subsequently sentenced to 10 years in prison following a murder conviction. The appeal asked that the court set aside Geiger's murder conviction, or set aside the murder conviction, convict her of criminally negligent homicide instead, and set a new hearing for her punishment. Both and Jean's sister, Alyssa Finley, said Geiger's appeal is disrespectful and that the court should have sentenced her to life for murdering her brother. Gene was doing nothing wrong on the day he was murdered, Finley said. Gene was sitting in his own apartment, minding his own business, she said. I feel like she received a slap on the wrist for taking my brother's life, Finley said. Just a quick word from our sponsor. It's finally nice out. If you find yourself in a situation where plan A falls through, there's plan B one step. When taken within 72 hours after unprotected sex, plan B emergency contraception helps prevent pregnancy before it starts. Find it yourself in the family planning aisle. Use as directed. This tells me that she feels like she didn't do anything wrong. She did not step on my brother's toe. She took his life. Some of the comments that she has read on social media are from people who believe the family deserves this result because they are a forgiving family. But Finley countered that only one family member has forgiven Geiger. She has not. She should have received life, so she should take her 10 years in prison and shut up, Finley said. If the court was to do this it would prove that, yes, there is systemic racism and white privilege does prevail over black life. I'm hoping this appeal gets thrown out and her conviction holds. I'm hoping they overturn the 10 years and give her life instead. Geiger killed Jean, but she didn't murder him, defense says. Geiger's attorneys say what the fired police officer did was akin to self-defense. Although Jean did not present an actual threat to Geiger, 
because she mistakenly perceived his presence as a threat she was justified in using deadly force to protect herself against that perceived threat, according to Geiger's appellate brief. Geiger's attorneys argue that the evidence presented at trial was legally insufficient to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Geiger committed murder because she mistakenly formed a reasonable belief that she entered her apartment and there was an intruder inside. Geiger's mistaken belief negated her responsibility for Jean's murder, according to Geiger's defense. Although she intentionally and knowingly caused Jean's death, she had the right to use deadly force in self-defense since it was her belief that deadly force was immediately necessary and was reasonable under the circumstances, Geiger's appellate brief said. What happened to Jean occurred because of his malfunctioning door, improper building design and incompetent building management, Geiger's attorneys argued. Geiger also argues that the law allows a person to use force if there is a reasonable belief of apparent danger, saying that the danger does not have to be real. A person is justified in using deadly force if he is protecting against another's use of deadly force against himself or someone else, or to prevent the commission of an aggravated kidnapping, murder, sexual assault, aggravated sexual assault, robbery, or aggravated robbery, the appellate brief says. When the court considers all the events occurring before, during and after the shooting, the evidence is overwhelming that Geiger mistakenly believed she entered her apartment and an intruder was inside, Geiger's attorneys argue. She intended to shoot to kill, but that was how she was trained, and shooting to kill is reasonable if an intruder is in one's home, the defense said. Geiger was frightened and reasonably believed that her life was in danger, and no other conclusion is rational, the appellate brief argues. Next article. All right. Let's a customer that. complained about a Whataburger employee's BLM mask. Let's cut that now off. She... Oh my goodness, my royal family. Did y'all hear that? Wait a minute. I know I was reading something right, you know, about um, both of his um, sister, both of Jean's sister. Um, um, let's, let's, let, 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 let's see if we can pull up something real quick before we I get off of here. Okay, uh, so, okay, both as G's sister, cause I when when he when um Botham's brother um uh, pulled that shit, I knew I was reading faces. I knew that Botham's sister wasn't feeling that shit at all. I knew that. I felt that. So is there anything in here that um True Royal can dig up? I mean, um. We can listen to this four-minute video if y'all want to listen to it. Um, Cause um, both and Jean's sister was pissed. Cause I was reading, I was reading. Um, let's look at it. I was, you know, really taken in. I was so invested in this. So let's let's do a little recap, my royal family, and see what um, both and sister had to say. Oh, damn. Let me see if I can unblock this. Get all these ads. All right. Let's see this again. I know I was reading that right. She's different. She cries a lot. Most of the time she would call me. Um, we try our best to comfort each other, but some it's really hard because sometimes she calls me on a bad day where I'm low. Um, for Bertram, he, I would describe him as just a shell um, because it's like the light behind his eyes are off. Jareem, he's 11. Jareem, now he is scared of police officers. One time I picked him up from school and he came running scared and I was scared because I thought something was wrong with him and he came into the car and he and like, what's going on? And he said he just saw a police officer um, and that frightened him. But he was also very generous. He really was. Um, when I closed on my house and he came on his birthday, 2017, um, he asked me to take him to Best Buy, so I did. And it was for him to buy me a TV um, as a housewarming on his birthday. 
that I want my brother back. You can just hear that voice. And talk to that voice. One last time. Yeah. Like if I could just continue our conversation, our last conversation, just not let him hang up the phone. Uh, we still have the sentencing phase to go, but this is a huge victory, not only for the family of both Mujan, but as, as his mother, Allison, told me a moment ago, this is a, a victory for black people in America. Uh, uh, it's, it's a signal that the, the tide is going to change here. Police officers are going to begin to be held accountable for their actions, and we believe that that will begin to change policing culture all over the world. It's, it's a sad reality that this community waited on pins and needles to decide whether or not someone could be held guilty for killing an unarmed black man in his home while eating ice cream. This should have been automatic. This should have been anticipated and expected, but it is extremely rare. And we, from this day forward, we're making it, we're, we're leading the way we are pushing so that it is not rare, but that this is common, that justice uh, continues to roll down like water and righteousness like a mighty stream. And now we're here today because Amber Geiger has now been convicted of murder for the death of Bolton. And we just hope that somehow, some way, we can get some healing in this community and we can get the proper training so no other family can have to deal with what Bertram and Miss Allison, Alicia and Brent are now dealing with. Although we got a murder conviction, their lives will never be the same. In this verdict, is for Trayvon Martin, it's yes. for Michael Brown, yes. it's for Sandra Bland, yes. it's for Tamir Rice, it's for Eric Gardner, yes. it's for Antoine Rose, yes. it's Robles. for Jamel Robles, for E.J. Bradford, for Stephon Clark. We believe in the wisdom of this jury. That that decision is in the hands of this jury. Uh, and so I'm, uh, uh, we believe that both of them's life mattered and we want to see a sentence that reflects that. To the Dallas Nine, to all of the people who are here, I want to say thank you. Yeah. Because of your sacrifice, this family is able to see some form of justice in Dallas, yeah. Texas, yeah. where many people at large in the community felt like it was hopeless. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so grateful to God that we yeah. see a, a guilty verdict. Yeah. You know what was so sad about this, my royal family? just doing that little recap is that um that um let me see here y'all know i want to make her look jacked up that in this in the judicial system when we are in, when we are dealing with this in the judicial system i mean it it each step you can't get excited because they say guilty then you got to wait for the sentencing. Then you got to wait for the family to give their impact statement. Because sometimes they give their impact statement after the fact. Because we know all the shenanigans and antics that happen after the damn fact. That's the very thing that continues to piss me off. Just thinking about it. But I vowed to the royal family. True royal is on point because i can admit to the royal family i could have did, did better i have that type of wisdom that type of discernment i've been taught by the best and i continue to be taught by the best and who was the best the royal family oh yeah i get every every well first and foremost our father forgive me father then the royal family because I really took that in and I was literally in tears. And I said, I did y'all a disservice because I was so emotionally invested. So this killer ass bitch, because y'all know I ain't going to put no cut on it, is still trying to find her way up out of them jails. But let's keep in mind, her life will never, ever be 
the same. And the last thing that I want to add, if the if both in Jean's family is really about that life, I'm giving y'all some game. They can still civilly charge her directly. So when her ass get out and she get a job or try to get a book deal or whatever, the proceeds go to the family. You know, I don't know if they on that. But one thing for sure, I did read the sister right because when Bothan's brother pulled them shenanigans, I seen the mother and the sister quite piss. And then there was other times that I seen the mother soft and they're asking, you know, are you forgiving and all that because of their faith? So I'm glad I did hear somebody in the family demonstrate some type of sense. So my royal family, render your voice with your beautiful divine words. And as always, my royal family, I thank you for your love. I thank you for your support. And with that said, I shake.